hot air ballooning, blimps, and the great rigid airships called dirigibles have been a fascinating part of American history. Sightings of flying giant airbags or flying objects caused quite a sensation here in Michigan in April of 1897. There were reported sightings on April 11th of an airship in flight at Niles, Michigan, at Benton Harbor in Kalamazoo. Then they tried a small steam engine to turn a propeller. But now we're getting ahead of our story on ballooning. Here in America, the first practical use for hot air balloons came in the Civil War. Until that time, if you wanted to spy on the enemy, you needed a long ladder, or you might build an observation platform in the highest tree. As an observer, you were a prime target for the sharpshooter. Revolution. They wanted to be entertained, and now ballooning becomes an attraction. P.T. Barnum made use of the big balloons in the 1870s at the Hippodrome in New York City. There, the balloonists were featured attractions. Here in Michigan, the balloonist would take his flying platform to county fairs and village festivals. As early as 1914, the United States Army and Navy established contracts with Goodyear to build and develop military balloons and non-rigid airships, which we know as blimps. These early non-rigid B-type Navy blimps used an airplane fuselage suspended below the envelope or bag as it was called to propel the craft with a single engine. By 1917, 16 of these early blimps were used for coastal patrols in search for German submarines along our Atlantic coastline. The USS Akron made its first flight on September 23, 1931. Captain Charles E. Rosendahl and crew took the ship up for its first voyage, lifting off at 3.37 p.m. that September afternoon. She would experience 10 test flights totaling 111 hours before taking the 13-hour flight to Lakehurst on October 22, where she was commissioned as a naval vessel and berthed with the Los Angeles. <laughs> 